It is always the game this year, like many other years. It is also a huge game in the Big Ten and uh, to the college football playoff. Ohio State, Michigan tackle in Columbus. We got Steve Merrill on the line from wagertalk.com to break it down. NFL, college football, the NBA. Check out Steve's work at wagertalk.com. And of course, you get his exclusive under the radar selection for us at the Voice of College Football. Again, that's exclusive. Patreon.com, search Mark Rogers TV. Check out Steve's selections. He is a mere 11 and 1 against the spread on those selections. Steve, this is uh, one of the landmark games in college football every year, but especially this year, Ohio State, Michigan, both 11 and 0. Yeah, you know, the under the radar games, as you mentioned, 11 and 1 uh, against the spread, you know, there's cash. The currency is just as green when they win as opposed to, you know, like a top four battle like this one. And I do have five best bets at wagertalk.com this Saturday. This game is not going to be one of them, um, even though it's the biggest game of the year maybe so far. And the reason being is that I've got some angles favor one side, some favor the other. First of all, I always start with the math, with the database simulations, 10,000 game simulations I run this week. Numbers come out on Wednesday each week. And uh, Ohio State by 14 was the average result. So I was a little surprised it was that big, um, as I do like this Michigan team. And Mark, as you know and the viewers know, I've been pro-Michigan all season long here on the channel. Uh, my power ratings have favored them in basically all games this season. They showed extra value with the Michigan Wolverines. I said at 20 to 1 back in September, they were worth a flyer as a, a semi long shot national title winner. But this week, that's not the case. My math favors Ohio State by 14. Um, however, it is tough to play against a good defensive underdog getting more than a touchdown here in Michigan. Another thing that does concern me, though, with Michigan is that the public is on them. You know, I do my fade the public video at wagertalk.com every weekend. And one angle that works extremely well in the NFL especially is fading public dogs because the public in general, 65, 70% of the time, leans towards favorites. So when they're on the underdog, it's always a red flag. And it often happens in college football in these high-profile top five, top ten matchups. We saw it a few weeks ago. Public was very heavy on Tennessee against Georgia, probably the biggest public dog I've seen all year in college football. My math model favored Georgia by double digits in that game. We talked about it here. That was a best bet for my clients at wagertalk.com. So similar situation here. The math favors Ohio State by 14, the, the database simulation. The public is on the underdog Michigan. So I do lean towards Ohio State for that reason, but I kept it off the best bet card just because I do respect this Michigan team. And it's awful hard to pass up more than a touchdown with the team allowing less than 12 points per game. And my other concern, Mark, what could be the difference in this game is the Ohio State pass defense. Statistically very mediocre this year, as it's been for several years. That's always been their weakness. They give up 6.4 yards per pass against teams that average just 6.8. Michigan averages 7.9. Wolverines allow just 5.3 yards per pass against teams that average 6.5. So Michigan is the better defensive team, getting more than a touchdown. But I'll still lean towards Ohio State as I'll fade the public and take the uh, database simulation line value with the Buckeyes. I'm going to throw out a perception, Steve, that may not make a whole lot of sense because I don't know how much the numbers factor into the Vegas line versus the betting that's wagered on each side versus just uh, their maybe tweak in terms of a feel for the game or what other indicators are there. But it seems as though Alabama and Ohio State are considered in recent years to be the best teams in the country and have inflated lines. Yes, but, you know, it's funny about these underdogs. Like I said, the public normally likes favorites, but when it's a really high-quality underdog, the lines sometimes aren't inflated enough. But you're right about Alabama and Ohio State. In fact, there's three teams right now in my power ratings, and basically it's the same as the sports books use. All season long, this has been the case. Alabama's maybe fallen a point or two, you know, a couple losses. But basically all season long, the odds makers have said that on a neutral field, Georgia – Alabama and Ohio State would be six to seven points over anybody else. A touchdown or more against anyone, including Tennessee when they were really running well, or even Michigan. Um, and we're kind of seeing that here, right? I mean, home field's probably worth two or three points. Um, so Ohio State, not quite a full touchdown favorite here on a neutral. But that's where the odds makers have had it all season long. So you could almost make an argument that this line is actually a couple points short because a few weeks ago, Ohio State probably would have been, you know, eight, nine, ten point favorite. Interesting. Wagertalk.com is the place to check out Steve's complete array of selections, not only for college football, but the NFL and the NBA as well. Get his exclusive 
under the radar selection that's exclusive to us at the Voice of College Football that we're so appreciative of. 11 and 1 against the spread. Go to patreon.com, search Mark Rogers TV, and you get to join all the other benefits there on Patreon. Steve, thank you so much. Thanks, Mark.